Mel Trotter Ministries is hosting a new fundraising event that will feature paintings, sculptures, and photography all done by local artists. President and CEO Dennis Van Campen is here now with more on the first ever art and experience auction. Great to see you, Dennis. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for having me on. So this event, brand new, it highlights work from the Heartside Art Ministry, a chance really to recognize some of their work and also a chance to bid on it. Yeah, absolutely. This is our um, first annual or our first art and experience auction. And, you know, we merged with Heartside about uh, two years ago now. And one of the things that Heartside has done for so long in this community is uh, give some of our neighbors the opportunity to express themselves through art. And uh, I have to tell you, some of the paintings um, are just phenomenal. And this is an opportunity for us not only to showcase uh, their art, but also the art of other. Uh, artists in our community, uh, as well as raise some money for a really worthy uh, cause. So this all takes place on March 24th. There's a silent auction and also a live auction that night. Yeah, absolutely. March 24th at the High Five GR uh, on the Grave in Grand Rapids. And uh, yeah, most items will be silent auction, but there will be some live auction items also. And uh, also an opportunity to interact with, with some of our artists uh, and learn more about what's happening at Mel Trotter and at Heartside. You guys do have a lot going on there. I just completed the first phase of that $14 million expansion and more to come. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have been, it feels like we've been in construction almost as long as we've been in COVID, uh, but not quite. Uh, but the first phase is done, and this really is revolutionizing how we interact and, and provide services with the homeless. So gone will be all the large dorms. You know, we had a dorm that had 113 people in it. Imagine that, right? Uh, it's hard enough to be in a hotel room with one other person. Um, and this will create kind of sweet style or college dorm uh, rooms, if you will, where two people are in a room and then two people are in an, an adjacent room and the four people share a bathroom. And uh, as we open the first phase, um, some of the, the men that, are, that have jobs that have gone in there um, are just overcome with emotion. They're saying things like, um, we can't believe you would make something this nice for us. And, you know, I had one gentleman say to me, um, I was thinking about going for a promotion at my work, but it's so hard to sleep in a big dorm that I didn't think I should do it. But now I have a room of my own where I can read and I'm gonna go for that promotion. So um, we're just really excited about what uh, what's happening here. Wow, I mean, that just goes beyond just construction. That is, that is life changing. Yeah, it really is, and and part of the changes are more than construction as well. Um, we will the shelter will be twenty four seven, so no longer will it be uh, people having to wake up in the morning and either go to our day center or go out, go outside. Uh, they'll be able to stay in their own rooms um, and eat when they want to, and then also we'll be providing uh, really unique and specialized case management. So, for example, we know that last year seven percent of the people that we serve were veterans. Uh, so we'll have a special wing for veterans that are experiencing homelessness. And then the case manager there will not only be equipped to minister to folks and help them find jobs and get housing, but they'll also be tied to veteran services organizations and have a greater understanding of things like uh, PTSD and things like that. So really, um, we know that this is going to help people move out of homelessness forever and more quickly. Sure, and that certainly is the goal. You're doing great work there. I know there's more to come. And of course, this art experience is what goes to support that. It sure does. All the proceeds of this go to um, uh, support the day center and the art program at Heartside Ministry. And uh, that just helps people leave homelessness. So it's a great thing I think our entire community can get around. And, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. One thing we do really well in West Michigan is art. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the Mel Trotter Art Prize, kind of. <laughs> All right, good. Well, March 24th, Dennis, great to see you. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks, Michelle.